Hey, hello. Again, my name is Warner Workman. I'm the founder of Minuteman Arms here in Lovettsville, Virginia, right next to Bonnie's. And so, you know, we had our first interview with Frank. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good Frank's just a wealth of information and really, really a very unique individual. I mean, you know, all people are, right? But he, but he has a, some background and experience that, uh, it, you know, I, to be honest with you, I, I didn't think, you know, he was a cop, right? He's a fireman. He's an EMT. He, you know, he sings and dances and does everything. In fact, I got my first business interview uh, coming up later this week. It's going to be nice. great. It's going to be another secret uh, until published. But, um, but the person, the owner, business owner, agreed to come in. They were all excited, right? And so they, they really sort of like this form. Okay, so with that said, I, I got my second guest, right? His name is Michael Ma. Right? So I know very little about Mike Ma. Now, you used to have a longer beard. I did. But anyway, so with that said, uh, Michael Mox here, we're going we're gonna to talk to him a little bit, and we're going to find out a little bit about you personally, what you've done uh, over the time, and no telling where <laughs> Warner Workman and Michael Mock are going to end up in any, any conversation, right? Because i got a feeling we're probably a lot alike. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm just the guy without the beard. Okay, so with that said, let's, let's find out a little bit about Michael Mock. So now you, you live in town. No. Oh, you're a 20180 guy. Yes. Oh, that's the outer limits <clears throat> thing. So, so you create. So he initially created the outer limit. There is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. We can change the focus to a soft blur, or sharpen it to crystal clarity. For the next hour, sit quietly and we will control all that you see and hear. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to the outer limits. No, it was, what was it? Outside. Outside, what was going yeah. on? Yeah. And so, uh, and then, then you changed the name to 20180. So you were the founder. Yes. Of Lovettsville 20180. So you live outside. Okay, so go ahead. So tell me a little bit about yourself there. Yeah, so. Uh... <laughs> See, this would be in the blooper reel. So I, I, got, I got so many great bloopers. Um, yeah, so founded uh, Lovettsville 20180. It was started uh, as outside of Lovettsville Limits. Um, wait, 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 hold on. So I don't care about that. Okay. I want to know about you. About me. Oh, oh. I want to know about you. Got it. So right. how old are you? So I'm 50, well, almost 53. So how old are you? I'm um, 37. 37? I was yeah. a young kid. See, I could be, I could almost be his dad. Not legally. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> Somebody's going to jail, right? It would have been me yeah. had I been your dad. But I'm close, right? I would have been 16, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you're 37. So uh, so anyway, so are you from around here? No, so I'm originally from West Salem, North Carolina. Uh, born and, and raised there. Um, grew up working for my dad. Uh, he owned a fiberglass installation corporation. Uh, he works on construction side. Yeah. Um, so docks, heaters, things like that. And oh. I knew at age 10 when I was working in the warehouse that I wanted no more to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's itchy, it's sweaty, um, but it taught me a lot about life. Yeah, real quick. No, no, absolutely. Uh, be thankful for what you have. So, yeah, exactly. Um, joining join the uh, Navy. Um, and uh, stayed in the, stayed in that for about twelve years. Uh, I was an intelligence specialist in that. Secret agent man. Um, so just for clarity, so we're both spies. <laughs> okay. They've given you a number and taken away your name. 
<laughs> okay, go ahead. Sorry. Um, worked off and on uh, overseas. Uh, now, were you ever stationed on a ship? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So, so the USS LaSalle, the USS Mount Whitney, and the USS John F. Kennedy. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic point aboard this tiny ship. Homage to my ship. It just, the, the kill just got laid again in Virginia Beach for the brand new USS John F. Kennedy nuclear powered. Really? So, yeah. I think things I know nothing about. The military, right? In the sense that, uh, you. yeah. <laughs> so I'm a career, career intel officer, right? CIA, blah 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 blah. What was your longest deployment on a on a boat? Uh, right at nine months. Damn. Yeah, and so we were the second aircraft carrier on station after 9/11. Uh, when 9/11 happened, we were uh, conducting drills off the coast of North Carolina. Um, we call them workups. And, but you were on an aircraft carrier, right? Okay, at, at that time. Um, we scooted up off the coast of uh, New York, provided air defense for New York to make sure there was no more planes coming in. Yeah. We stayed there for a couple of weeks, uh, scooted back down to Jacksonville, uh, pulled in. The captain basically told us you've got about one week to pack all your stuff, and it was a it was a uh, an improvised schedule. We weren't supposed to deploy for another six months. Wow! But, so we had one week. Yeah. So so I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna call you a first responder in New York City. <laughs> well, I. I Right. I appreciate that, but but I would not, for myself and 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 out of respect to those guys being on the ground, um, no. Yeah. yeah. So so well, I'm going to include you. So how far off off you know whatever oh, Manhattan were you? We were approximately about five to ten miles at any point given in time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now the reason I say that is so I, I was actually a first responder in New York City. Yeah. You know, I, I think like with anything else, you know, life experience mold you into whoever and whatever you are and, and what and how you think, right? So I was there three weeks, ground zero, right? So I was working graveyard. So, you know, a lot of what who and what I am is actually comes out of that experience. You know, and that was 14 years ago. I agree. It's just as real to me today, right, as it was 14 years ago. Amen. You know, so. Uh, but anyway, okay, so you were in the military. You were in there, what did you say, 12 years? About 12 years. 12 years. Okay. Uh, and then, then what did you do? Uh, so then I, uh, I got out. I was hired by uh, Booz Allen Hamilton, uh, you know, big uh, federal contractor. And then uh, from there, uh, I was hired on, hired on by a small 8A contractor uh, to go, go back over to DIA. Up until the next week. Oh, really? Next week, I decided to, uh, is, is, is my start date with another company, moving on. I've been at DIA for about six years now, so it's yeah. time to just kind of spread my wings oh, and wow. follow some goals. Yeah, you know, one of the things about, uh, so I have a, you know, I have more experiences than probably most people in reality, right? Oh, yeah. But but I always sought them out, right? And it's just, you know, again, it goes back to shaping who and what I am and what I think, right? And so I'm conservative because I've been in, I traveled uh, internationally for 17 years and been in over 100 countries, right? Yes. And the bottom line is the rest of the world sucks. 